Flatters. Common people believe that Flatters are dead heathens who turned to vampires and rose from their graves. Being vampires, they attack sleeping people and drink their blood. According to peasants, a man bitten by a flatter becomes a flatter himself. This however is obvious nonsense. Here is the truth. One and a half thousand years ago, during the conjunction of the spheres, vampires set foot on the continent. Among these vampires, proto flatters and flatters. At this moment, I already have to correct myself. Flatters didn't enter this world during the conjunction. They evolved. When the vampires entered through the gate within the caves of Hengaith, most of them left the caves, went out to the world. However, some proto flatters stayed there among the unseen elder. Because they didn't get exposed to outside conditions, they never changed and adapted to the world. Proto-flatters have become extremely rare over the centuries. Their evolved counterpart, the flatter, has taken over their niche in the continent's biosphere. Proto-flatters, like flatters, are lesser vampires. They are driven by instinct instead of emotions. Proto-flatters and flatters, although they still look really similar, have developed some differences. Proto-flatters emit a red glow, which dies out once they're killed. Flatters, however, have lost their glow, instead of being better able to hide. Something that the proto-flatter doesn't need, since they're sealed inside the unseen elder's cave. Flatters have adapted to the urban environment. During the colder months, they hibernate in crypts and abandoned buildings, only emerging to hunt once again when the warm spring nights arrive. Because as you might expect, lesser vampires try to stay off the sun as much as they can. Protoflatters and flatters alike fight mainly with their fangs and claws. And if you take a look at those, it won't be much of a surprise. With their long sharp claws and double rows of upper fangs, they lunge and attack any prey that comes close. Because these vampires lack any intelligence, their attacks are driven by rage. These vampires do not run away, they only keep attacking their prey, even once the prey is dead. Flatters are considered weaker than other lesser vampires, mentally and physically. However, one should never underestimate them. They can easily take down a trained soldier whilst on their own. Both types of flatters are easily distinguished from other vampires. They have wide, toothy jaws, flat, unpleasant faces, and two big ears attached to the sides of their head. They are completely hairless. Often their bodies are covered with warts. Along the sides of their arms stretch small parts of skin, which is assumed wants to be part of a wing or is used to help them jump towards their prey to guide them in the air. This jumping is made possible by their strong muscular legs. Their feet look similar to hands. Flatters use these feet, along with their claws, to climb on buildings and hang from ceilings, waiting to drop down onto their unexpecting prey. Compared to other vampires, Flatters resemble necrophages the closest. This is largely thanks to their habits of not only drinking blood from their victims, but also devouring their corpses. They have no problem doing the same to people struck by illness. Other vampires, however, seem to avoid these people. Apart from going after the sick, flatters have no problem going after fresh corpses which makes them resemble certain traits found in necrophages. When hunting flatters and proto-flatters, it is advised you make use of vampire oils and black blood potions. Because of how they attack, fast attacks are more useful against them. 
they will help you hit them more often as they jump around. You can always try strong attacks, however it will be hard to hit them this way. Later this week there will be another video, I'm working on a few longer videos at the moment, so that's why this week's videos will both be somewhat shorter. If you have any suggestions for video ideas, leave them in the comments down below. Till the next video, bye.